Heartland Sports with Jess Todd. Sponsored by Southeast Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. The annual Swing Pink Softball Tournament thrown out first pitch this morning. Due to rain earlier in the week, Dexter had to move the tournament to McLean Park in Poplar Bluff. We caught up with the director of Parks and Recreation from Poplar Bluff earlier. If you missed that interview, make sure you check it out. But especially cool that they got it to go on because it's the last one that Starla Proley will be the head coach for with the Dexter Bearcats. She is leaving Dexter at the end of this season. She's been there for nine years. She's helped this grow ever since the Bearcats got it started before she got there. A really special tournament. 16 teams this year. It's been growing like crazy. They raise money for 18 for life that helps support people that have cancer. A really special event in her last time with the Bearcats. Got to catch up with her today about it. See the camaraderie from different schools. You see girls who play travel ball together coming together when they see each other. And, you know, it's just a fun filled day, you know, to come out and play a sport that we all love and we're passionate about. Your last time around with the Bearcats for yes. this, what's that like for you? You know, it's a little bittersweet. I've been very blessed to be at Dexter the last nine years, but I'm really glad we got it in today so I at least can have our, our my final year with Swing Pink. One, two, three, family! So there you go, family for Dexter, that's what it's all about. But let's get to some of the softball highlights and we'll start with the Bearcats taking on Van Buren. Special huddle in there, but Van Buren, the Bulldogs came out swinging early. Ella Willowbanks, RBI triple. She gets all the way around to third. The bats continue to be hot for the Bulldogs. That's Gracie Gossett, RBI single. Dexter was down big, but in the last inning, they start mounting a furious comeback with the bases loaded. Pass ball, Molly Simmons scores. They're going for another one. Peyton Short coming around. She'll get in two, but unfortunately Van Buren able to hold on. They would move on. Dexter did pretty well in the consolation bracket though. How about another game from the pink division? Meadow Heights taking on Bloomfield. Abigail Henson in the circle for the Panthers. Good pitch there, gets her looking, but it doesn't matter even though it's dropped. Good throw down, she gets out. Good looking throw from Henson. And then the Bloomfield offense really started going. Dakota Whalen sends one into left field. That's an RBI because Finley Brashear comes around to score. Bloomfield would get to the semifinals. Elsewhere in this bracket, Bernie taking on Twin Rivers. How about Blair Plimling? Really good swing. Bernie won their conference tournament earlier this week. They were looking like it early on. They had the offense going, couple good hits, some really good defense here, but it was Twin Rivers at the plate that really started making a difference down the stretch. Alexis Parson rips one out into center. That scores a run, and the Royals would reach the white division finals and they would take on East Prairie earlier in the day. The Eagles taking on Willington. Some good defense. Kylie Hampton comes up for the catch for the Whippets, taking care of business there. They're going to the dugout happy with the only problem. Kennedy Cogdill in the circle for the Eagles was locked down all day, all through this tournament, and the East Prairie Eagles get the dub in the white division. There they are with the plaque. Congratulations to EP. How about over in the white division? We showed you some of these highlights earlier. We'll just rehash it because it was really good softball action. Oran against Clearwater. Molly Spain was great in the circle, even better at the plate. Strikeout on the mound, and then Spain ripping a double out that would score a couple runs. Oran got the win six to three. They would place third in the white division. How about moving on? Scott City against Donovan. The Donettes also conference tournament champs earlier in the week. Really showing why. Paige Wilson, good looking swing. Two RBI double. Raise the roof. Chicken dance. You do what you want, Paige Wilson. You deserve it. After that one, Rams good looking strikeout. The Donettes get the win nine to four at the end of the day. All right, moving on still. We got more highlights to get to, if you can believe it. Neelyville against Risco. This was a pretty good game. 5-4 was the final. Pressler pitching, September Pressler, excuse me, pitching a gem in the circle, but it was their offense even better. Parker Ernst, two RBI devil. Again, Neelyville got the win. 5-4. to four. And lastly, rounding everything out, Zenith again. I think they win MVP for their jerseys. They are really cool. They had the breast cancer logo on the shoulder and Katie McClellan doing stuff to make them look good on the diamond as well. Two RBI single out to right field, but Zenith just couldn't quite hold Park Hill Central in check. They fall 9-8 in the opening round and the Rebels come out of town and they win the pink division. But what a day we had at Dexter 
for the swing pink. Well, actually, Poplar Bluff, technically. The OVC Women's Tennis Tournament also serving up this weekend. SEMO, the top seed, taking care of business in their semifinal win today. 4-0 after getting a bye in the first round yesterday. So they'll play for the championship tomorrow against SIUE.